Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm here from Xtreme PC Review. Today, I will be conducting a review on the Scythe Ninja 3 CPU cooler. So, stay tuned. What's included in this Ninja 3 CPU cooler from Scythe is a 120mm PWM adjustable fan. There's the knob there. A uh, assembly clip for the fans, the heatsink itself, installation guide, back plate, installation clips for your Intel and AMD processors, and a baggie filled with other goodies such as some screws and some thermal grease. First, let's take a look at the 120 millimeter fan that comes with the CPU cooler. Now they are calling this the K's uni uh, j y u n i it is a slipstream 120 millimeter pwm adjustable fan here is the knob you can switch anywhere from low to high depending whether you want performance or you want a nice and quiet pc also note that the cables are uh, kind of braided um, which is always good for a company to do um, so that it gives a nice finish to you, your overall look inside your case. The fan is attached to the CPU cooler or the heatsink uh, with these, you know, clips that you simply put the clip on there and there. And then you put this on your CPU cooler. Now on to the heatsink itself. Now this is the third edition to the uh, Ninja CPU cooler line of products from Scythe. Uh, it does come with a new and improved uh, high performance design as you can see right there. This is actually quite unique. I've never seen this on any uh, CPU cooler itself. The CPU cooler is actually quite uh, nice and heavy which is always a good thing uh, to make sure that you know your CPU is receiving the maximum performance out of these coolers. Now this CPU cooler does have a total of eight uh, U-shaped uh, heat pipes. Uh, they're right there. As you can see, there's four, um, you know, heat pipes going this way in a U-shaped form, and the same for the other side. Now this does um, use an optimized fin structure, uh, which is called MAPS or multiple airflow pass-through structure uh, which is why it has such a unique design and it allows the user to have the absolute best performance out of the CPU cooler and all of its attributes. Now this CPU cooler does have a nickel plated base and uh, there is an, a sticker that you must remove before installation right there right? and it does have a small heat sink I'm not sure if you can catch that on camera, but there is a small heat sink on the base uh, which allows the CPU cooler uh, to dissipate heat uh, quicker. Now, now, as you can see, the fan is installed with the assembly clips that it came with, all right? And you can also see all the heat pipes right there. You can see that there is a total of 36 uh, quite, you know, strong uh, aluminum fins. And you can see right there, the caps or the ends to these uh, heat pipes and on the fan you I'm not sure if you can see it or not but there is an arrow indicating which way the fan turns and which way airflow goes through the fan now the overall dimension of this CPU cooler with the fan all right would be 120 millimeters by 120 millimeters by 160 millimeters all right now that is uh, about 4.72 by 4.72 by 6.30 inches. All right, now that is a really, really good uh, heatsink build. Or Now the fan can go a total of 1,900 RPM, uh, which is the maximum it could go. Now the minimum is 1,340 RPM. The noise level ranges anywhere from 9.8 decibels to 37 decibels. All right. 
Now uh, the airflow is uh, 37.15 all the way through 110.31 CFM. Now that is pushing a lot of air onto this heat sink so that it can dissipate heat, thus keeping your CPU cooler nice and cool. Please note that the fan that comes with the CPU cooler does use a sleeve bearing all right and the overall weight of the fan installed on the CPU cooler and the CPU cooler itself is anywhere hmm, let's say about 1040 grams okay now this does support your latest CPU your latest and greatest CPU this will cool down your new six core CPU um, so it will cool down your LGA 775, your 1156, your 1366, uh, it does do your AMD 754, your 930s, your 940s, your AM2s, your AM2 pluses, and your AM3s. So all these CPU coolers, uh, you know, especially the new ones that I might just get, uh, I might get a 6 core processor and I would. This is how the CPU cooler looks with the fan installed on the motherboard once everything is installed you will notice that there is absolutely no room for the ram it's actually uh not touching the ram or anything uh but in order for you to uh you know in case you want to upgrade or anything uh, you might need to remove the fan other than that of course you need a big huge cpu cooler um This CPU cooler provides a wide range of compatibility with your latest and greatest CPUs such as your Intel Core i7 980X and your AMD 1055 and 1090T. Now the only negative thing I have to say about this CPU cooler which is actually not even the CPU cooler's fault is that it is too big for the motherboard. Uh, it does block some of the RAM but if you buy one of those newer motherboards, a lot of motherboard manufacturers are coming out with uh, motherboards that have space between the CPU and the RAM, specifically made for these types of CPU coolers. Because when you need a really good CPU cooler that provides the best performance for its price, you definitely need something sturdy and big. Now, that is not really a negative, but I really have nothing bad to say about this CPU cooler. If I had to rate this with a 5 star system, I would give it a 5 out of 5 stars. Now, I do give it 5 out of 5 because it did cool my CPU better than the stock cooler that came with the Core i3 processor. It did cool down to about uh, 20 degrees less than the Intel Core i3 stock cooler. I like how they did use a uh, backplate that is compatible with both AMD and Intel. That way, it is easy to install this CPU cooler. I also like the fact that the fan comes with a fan controller so that you can adjust it from low to high depending on whether you want a high performance uh, fan or a low noise fan. I would like to thank Scythe for providing this product for me to review. And if you would go ahead and check out their website at scytheusa.com. That is www.scythe-usa.com where you'll find a bunch of their products such as a few case fans and the Ninja 3 CPU cooler. USB foot switch, silent mini case 60mm fan, and a lot more products. Again, I am Elmer from Xtreme PC Reviews, and I am signing out.